It's me, Arlette, at Patterson Physical Therapy. Since nobody's in the room, I'm going to take my mask off, but we do practice wearing our mask right now for the safety of others. So I just want to say today we're going to do a couple moves that you can do at home doing planks to strengthen your core. So a few of these moves, I'm going to go from a beginner move to an intermediate move to advanced move. So as you do these moves safely at home, I'm going to tell you if it goes to your lower back or it bothers your neck, then you stop and rest. That means you've overworked the muscles and you're fatigued. You want to stop and rest. So right now, I'm going to start with a beginner plank. And I always say, sometimes I call it a sissy push-up. So in this position, you go from a square to a parallelogram. So I'm activating the glutes, drawing the navel in, and right here, just holding this position would be a beginner move. Just squeezing the glutes, draw the navel in, and this is how you could go into your push-ups or triceps. Just holding this position for probably about 30 seconds would be great to begin. Okay, and then from there, you're gonna Drop the toes, draw the navel in, and squeeze the glutes and extend the whole body. That would be in advance. Okay? Also in the beginning, if you're comfortable, you can come down to this position on your forearms and just hold it here. And again, I'm on a diagonal. You can go there again and extend the legs from there. And if you want to add on, you can do single leg moves. From here, or you can lift the tailbone, draw the navel in length in the spine, and go down from here. Again, this would be a beginner move. If you're up, moving up into the advanced moves, if your ankles or your, I'm, if your wrists bother you, um, you can use these weights and place your hands and knuckles on the weights, and that gives you a little more stability. If your wrists bother you, you can do it that way. But again, instead of doing a whole push-up, you're activating the glutes, drawing the navel in, lengthen the spine, hold that position again, either single leg, either bringing the legs into the body, or just holding them firm in one position, just like this. From here, you can go to a side plank. Side planks, again, in the beginning move, you can start on your forearm and just from here to here, you're holding, you're pulling like someone grabbing around the waist and lifting up from the center, working the obliques, and hold the position just like this. Now as you get a little stronger, you can extend the legs and go into here. And you're still, from here to here, you're on your shoulders. Or you go up to the next level, which is up to here. Okay, you can start, there's the diagonal. Right here, you see the diagonal, you're lifting up from here. Draw the navel in. So you're making a sandwich with your glutes and your abs. Then from here, you can go up to here. And then later, you can stack from here. You can raise the arm, and that's advanced move. So right here, adding on, if you want to do a little more challenging on the side moves, this is a weighted ball, or you can do uh, one hand weight. And you can do that same simple move adding the legs and the obliques, you're adding also along the side of the hips. You draw the navel and you can just lift and lower in this position. And from here, you can go into the back. Same thing in this position, you can lift this direction or out to the side in this position. And from here, we can go down to a reverse plank. You come down onto your seat. And you can either do it from your forearms to begin, and just in this position, in the beginning, you're gonna feel your hamstrings and your glutes lifting your hips from here. Holding it, you can extend one leg at a time, single leg movements, and then when we graduate a little more, you start lifting up to here. Soften the elbows, relax the shoulders, lifting the hips, and this would be like a tabletop. As you get even stronger, you can extend the legs, Draw the navel in, and one long line from your toes to your nose. You can see that angle. You can do single leg movements. Again, more challenging. Extend them. And then lift and lower. 
and then come back down. Always ending all your exercises, even though it's all your core, you're using the whole body is involved. Nice, easy stretches, folding, rounding and reaching up. Relax your shoulders, inhale up, and exhale down. And with that little tip for the day, enjoy yourself. Have a great day. Come by and see us at Patterson Physical Therapy. And if you have any questions, please give us a call. Have a great day.